that is... Oh, dude! What a... Gotta get topped off for tomorrow's big day. So we've got a smokestack. Because <laughs> it's freaking diesel light. Today's video is sponsored by Smokestack Beef and Cheese. And Diesel. And FYI, fruit punch and peanut butter do not go well together. So we have a major problem with this truck. Dude, you lost half the smoke. We only got stack left. Should I eat it? <laughs> Lexi's like, yes. That's COVID. So, major issue for with this truck nowadays, too. Believe it or not, it's another issue. Um, fuel gauge doesn't work, so... I average about three or four miles of the gallon, so... <laughs> the full tank, I think it's 36 gallons, so we'll have to fill up at like 100 miles. Should be safe. You know, you're stranded. All right, people, so we gotta bring our freaking super Mickey clapped out third gen here. Um, I'm gonna put the factory wheels back on because tomorrow I'm gonna make a super sick purchase. But uh, it's like a long trip, it's like two and a half hours. So I don't wanna be freaking driving around for two and a half hours with the boggers, freaking shaking my teeth out because they suck. So gotta get that pile in here and get the factory tires on it. It's gonna look really freaking cringy. I'm not excited about it, but the ride will be nice at least. career being a NASCAR guy. Look how chopped that is, dude. That is atrocious. <laughs> Why are these ball joints are bad over here? Gal switched over. Pretty freaking cringy. Might throw up a little bit off, off, off camera, but you know, what are you gonna do? But, uh, New trailer we're getting is also way freaking heavier. There's gonna be way more time away. So we got a set of airbags coming for this bad boy. Freaking, we got her all, all tools are out of her. She looks naked now. But we're in total hybrid mode. We're trying to get like at least 10 miles of the gallon. So we're gonna, we're gonna do good on fuel, dude. That's good. That's good. That was short size because I got a little baby Kubota and we gotta make sure that she can reach up in there to dump but this thing's freaking sweet and they even threw me in a nice freaking hitch it's all solid steel but we gotta freaking hurry up and get back to uh we gotta hurry up and get back home we gotta make it for the appointment to go look at cars so lots of lots going on today a lot of running show you guys fiance's new whip thing's freaking minty Had to get the friggin' nice little touchscreen because you can't freaking go from the RAM with the nice touchscreen inside to having freaking just like a tape deck or something, so. But, pretty nice looking car. I'm really not a car guy. I'm pretty much like anti-car, but I'm not gonna lie. Took her yesterday to go uh, 
Go on, look at some jobs, and we drove for probably like a good two hours, and it was pretty freaking nice. Only spending like maybe not even 10 bucks on fuel, so. I think I'm gonna start driving that quite, around quite a bit for looking at jobs and stuff, just because driving that around to look at jobs is ridiculous, because the thing, something's wrong with it, and it gets like 10 miles a gallon, freaking hate it, so. It's actually a pretty good ride, too. Pretty decent little car. But, so that's where that's where my freaking ram ended up that trailer and that car so oh well we're we gonna do but we gotta get this piece of junk in here too what's wrong with that all right that's my first time i've ever freaking videoed myself while i'm working but uh i want to show you guys some of the minty stuff about this new trailer <laughs> so these gates you just fling them open and they got a little pin that latches automatically all by itself which is really freaking nice you don't gotta go around the other side of the gate and tie the gate back or just freaking mint freaking sweet It's so cringy listening to all that concrete slide down there. Oh, oh my God, look at it. I think the only other person in the world that can spend that much money on something and not cringe when they throw rocks at it or scratch it is probably Whistling Diesel. I think he's got, got us all beat at that. Now here's another thing that's really sick and like most new dump trailers have this. So it's not just this trailer, but. My old trailer had to, actually it's right there, freaking piece of junk. Had to uh, take the ramps from the sides, walk all the way around over here and put them on the back, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but they weigh like almost a hundred pounds, so. They're down here now on these guys, which is really nice. You just slide them out of there. Now that it's really nice on this too is the ramps actually going really close together so it's super easy to load small stuff like this or like mini excavators or anything like that. First thing in the morning, uh, waiting on some guys to show up, waiting on the truck to show up, but uh, Pouring a concrete patio today, and I figured it'd be cool to do a little time lapse of it, just to uh, fill in with the channels, or for the, just to fill in for this video, since uh, this video has pretty much been all about work stuff. So I figured it'd be kind of cool to fill in there.
<laughs> you know, I really don't care about the truck at all. I'm more worried about the trailer. <laughs> Dude, what an animal. Oh, look at that, ruining the new PJ. Dang. <laughs> We're really putting this bad boy to work. Look at that. You're taking it like a champ. All right, so we're out here doing some full sandies in the Shorty Max. And yeah, it's way down the road. You're not gonna be able to see it, but. We're walking up here right meow to see if we can locate the drive shaft that we just shot out into a pretzel. So, not good, but we really know what happened. We don't know if we broke a strap first, a U-joint first, or we found out the drive shaft, or what the hell happened, but we gotta see this thing. <laughs> Alright guys, we have eyes on the target. <laughs> Where's that piece? The front half hit the uh, hit the drive shaft loop. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Tore it open. The only thing that can cause that is you just too much power bottoming it out. Oh. There's the bolt for the strap. What? It just fell out of it. The other one's in there. <laughs> They're in there. What? Yeah. Oh dude. That doesn't have to say keeping. Three. That Probably is, right you're never going to forget that image right there. That's great. Look at the damage in the road where oh, this yeah, thing came out. Oh my God. You go down, go all the way down to the end of the That's so insane. They're blue. Oh my God. These are huge gouges too. Like, that's freaking no joke. Okay, so we're currently plateauing back to Blake's house. But, uh, yeah, it's been too many times, you know? Being plateauing like this, it's always me and Blake. Seems to be. Every time, no matter what. Me and Blake, plateauing. At least we're getting good at it, I guess. So that's a good thing, but. We don't really know what happened to it yet. We're gonna diagnose a little more when we get to the house, but all we know is it did a lot of freaking damage, so. Kind of a bummer, but. So, that's these things when you're working with something that's, uh, not supposed to be the way it is everything's custom made and all that it's just the problem to deal with when you do stuff like that but we gotta get this bad boy back to the house and see what we got going on down here to the truck now take a look at the damage but well, there's the drive shaft loop that <sighs> supposed to be straight up there got a freaking nice broken yoke for the u-joint super smashed up exhaust more smashed up u-joint action Yoke. <laughs> what the freak, dude? <laughs> look at that you or look at that drive shaft blue blow. Alrighty guys, it's the next day. Freaking super nice out again. So I'm out here doing uh another little concrete pour. Really small one today, it'd be a nice Friday. Just got this little guy here. Hoping this freaking sun's gonna hit this thing soon so we can get the heck out of here, but it's still super wet. So we're waiting on that to dry. But hopefully I'm not boring you guys with the concrete stuff and what I do for a living. I figured it would go good with the dump trailer since that is for my business. And they're obviously running really short on things to post on the channel now with all the stuff going on because now there's no events going on. I can't go anywhere to dine on the truck. Can't really do anything. So how many times am I gonna drive around and freaking floor it? I mean. I'm sure you guys will love it, but my bank account doesn't, but got the dog here today. I always bring it with me and stuff like this. I'm going to be waiting a long time for stuff to dry, so me and Harry can waste some time and go for a walk. But like I said, hopefully I didn't bore you guys too much with this video. But uh, that's all I got for you guys today, so thanks for watching.